All right, hello. Uh, in tonight's video, I want to give you an example of using an inverted breaker block. So all of ICT's concepts can be inverted, and on tonight's London session, we got a good example of an inverted breaker block. I'll show you that. So we had buy side liquidity here at... Um, 597 three quarters which was here and then on the London open uh, or just prior to the London open we had a breaker block form so we had a high we had a low and we had a higher high which is a bearish break breaker now initially I thought we were going to draw lower back into this fair value gap uh, but we did not we, we drew up to that buy side liquidity we might end up drawing up to 618 spot 75 as well I'm already out of my position. Um, I will show you that I was long at uh, 591 quarters and then took it off at 596.75 and up here as well. So um, I'm still sitting in drawdown on the night, but I was down over 2K and now I'm down only 600. So I've gotten back 1500. But um, anyways, uh, inversion bearish breakers. So we have a high, we have a low, we have a higher high. And then as price traded back down to it, you can see that price uh, did not want to draw much lower. And then once I saw that price closed back in the breaker, I knew we were probably drawing back up to that buy side again, at least at 597 three quarters and, and potentially would make it all the way up to 618 as well. Although I'll, I'll just have to wait for the next pattern because I'm already out of my position. Um, as price traded back into the breaker, I figured that, that this breaker was going to invert and propel us through this buy side liquidity. So remember that any any of Michael's concepts, whether it, whether it be a breaker block, order block, fair value gap, they can all invert. So if you identify a bearish breaker and then price immediately trades back into it, you've got buy side sitting above, it's a good chance that that breaker is going to invert. And in addition to that, you ended up getting uh, an order block form here and price obviously came back and, and wicked into that order block and then went higher as well. But as you saw that price was was not wanting to close far below the breaker and then traded back into the bearish breaker with buy side liquidity sitting above, that was a good a good indication that the breaker was going to invert and we were going to make a new high. Um, I put my stop here so you can see point A and point B. Uh, what I like to do now with my NASDAQ stops is put things one point below the low, so that, that would be 581.25. So the stop was there at 581.25. I got was long in there. So anyways, guys, uh, this has been an example of a buy side draw on liquidity and an inversion breaker on the five minute chart during the London session uh, with the stop one point below the low of the breaker. So you can see the impulse here up high, low, higher high. That's a bearish breaker and then it inverted on the way back up and propelled us into buy side liquidity. Um, you could have also seen that this was a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. Either way that you played that, you could play it as an inversion breaker or you could you could have played it as a, just a standard fair value gap either way. Um, I saw it as an inversion bearish breaker. So good example of that and you, you you would have known that that was probably going to happen somewhere around here, around 584. So I kind of like ideal scenario is you're long at 584 and then uh, cover somewhere up here. So, all right, guys. Uh, and then your stop would be point A to point B. So one point below that is where I like to do things one point below because the NASDAQ is, is being really wicky recently. So I do one point below. Maybe that sacrifices a little bit of accuracy, but I'm trying not to be stopped out literally every time. So 581 quarters. And you can see that price, uh, once once it came back into the inversion bearish breaker, we wouldn't have gotten back there to 581 quarters and you wouldn't be stopped out. And then, uh, you know, like three points of risk for, for 13, 20 points of, of gain. So. All right, guys, this is an example of an inversion bearish breaker on the five-minute NASDAQ chart uh, on the London session, July 25th, 2023. Hope that you all enjoyed this video. Use my Top Step affiliate link, all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe.